time to start getting excited for download. season is edging closer and closer it's right around the corner now and we've had a little update from download festival i think the film, there's going to be some changes made to the site for this year's festival they seem to be fundamentally the same as the plans that were proposed for 2020 after the absolute washout of 2019. first up is a complete relocation of the village after years of soggy souls and trench foot i think 2019 was perhaps the final straw for quite a few people the village has been relocated to a hard standing tarmac area much closer to the arena for 2022. It should hopefully mean no mud marching when you do some shopping around the village or when you need to get some food after a long night at the doghouse. Speaking of which, we now know what we can expect at the doghouse this year. We've got the usual emo alternative new metal club nights, which Alex would be very excited about. On top of that, there'll be some special guest DJs, including Tasman Taylor, Zoe London, and Radio One's very own Daniel P. Cart. And for the first time at Download, live podcasts, which wasn't run by us, but uh, Sappenin, and on Wednesdays we were black, will be there and potentially interviewing some cool guests. So something to check out. There's been some improvements made with accessibility in mind, and also some extra commitments to improve the festival sustainability. And finally, and probably my biggest complaint about download, has been fixed, hopefully. The campsites are now much, much closer to everything. No longer will you need to trek miles with all your sh**. I mean, look at the map. Look how much closer everything is. I guess the East Car Park still looks some distance away, but it's definitely less of a hike than it was before. If you're traveling to download by coach, I think you get dropped to the travel hub, which is now also in a brand new location. Just step off the coach right next to the village, so you can easily get to a campsite, or if you're only there for the day, then it's just a 15 minute walk to the main arena, or maybe 10 minutes if you have really long legs. What do you guys think of these changes? Personally, I think it's great. It seems like Download have finally listened to the complaints that people have had, taken it on board, and made some efforts to, to try and improve it, at least, if not fix it. I guess they kind of had to because a lot of people did not want to go back after Drown Ode 2019. I guess now is the time to start planning and getting excited for Down Ode 2022. Let us know in the comments uh, which campsite you plan on staying in, what bands you're most looking forward to seeing perhaps. And give this video a like, follow us on socials and subscribe to the channel because we've got a very busy summer ahead. See you later.